Hi everybody, it is me Pam. It is 721 at night, Friday, still. I just posted my video for the, from this morning. Makes me sad watching it now. I didn't pass my test. I got three questions wrong, and they said I got a 78, but we needed five questions wrong to get that much. So if I got three questions wrong, then I didn't do that. Anyway, I went and um, like I, everybody knows all week I've been telling everybody how I haven't had any practice time on the phone, my computer kept messing up. So today they moved us out of the training room, all of our computers were to stay with us through our whole entire time while we were there. They didn't want to get other computers, set them up and stuff, so they just set everything up on every computer. Well, my computer wasn't working while I was in class at all. Like, it kept freezing. I had to keep shutting everything down. I had my phone wasn't working. I had to um, log in and out two, three times a day, just to, and I was like missing class time because I was doing that. So, even my team lead just said, "Don't worry, Pam. I have your back. They they already know you've been having computer problems." Well. Today when I went in, we got moved. We were sitting in all of our little spots that we were assigned to. I think I have something in my hair. Yeah, I put my Halloween town together. Oh my goodness, hold on. Get down, get down now. Oh my cat. I'm telling you now, I am gonna beat some animals' butts. See what she does? She jumped on my town. She's knocking all my people over. Like this is, this is my Halloween town. She's knocking stuff over. I'll show it to you better in a minute. So, all right. So, back to the class. It, my computer wasn't working. Um, every time I went to look up a, a page, like, you know, a QRG, um, I typed in the question, and it was supposed to take us to the page. It took us to the page where we could pick which one we wanted, and I would click on it, and then it would constantly tell me, page not found, page not found, redirecting. So obviously there was something wrong with my, it wouldn't even let me punch in this morning. So something was wrong with my computer, but yet they insisted I take the test on that computer. And I even called the, the trainer over three times. So I took my test, I took my time with it. I looked up as much information as I possibly could with whatever I could use and so it came time to submit my test. Well, it wouldn't submit, right? It kept going around and around and around and around. And finally, like three minutes after, it submitted. So she's looking at the questions with me. We saw that it didn't look right. It's like, you know, I had these three, three questions and it went like in a diagonal. And so we went back to the questions and she's reading them. I'm giving her the answer. And she's looking at me like, yeah, you're right. And the question is marked wrong but it should be right well she said to me she said well it's really not up to me it's up to Lindsay which is our our boss our HR person and she's like oh I'm sorry if you got if you got less than 84 percent then we can't let you go but three questions out of 33 questions is not less than 83 she told me I got a 78 that would have meant I got almost six or, six or seven wrong. And I didn't. I only got three wrong. So, I don't know. There was something wrong with the computer, and they just don't want to go over it. But we were told yesterday, even if we didn't pass the test, not to worry because there's something that they could do for us. Obviously, they didn't want to. And, um, you know, it's been like a target on my back ever since I started. So one of the girls I, I'm talking to, um, one of the ladies I'm talking to, she sat next to me, Melissa, and I have been emailing each other all day, and she said that, you know, you're not the only one that didn't make it, and this other person who knew everything and was answering everything right, she didn't make it. So there's obviously something wrong. There is something wrong with some of our computers and everything. So I'm not sure really what's going on. I really don't. And I'm really disappointed. Then they lied to us about the money. They said it was going to be $16.50 or something. And it wound up being uh, 12 bucks, Which, you know, I mean, that's that's $4 difference. And $4, you know, times all those 8 hours a day. That's a lot of money. So I'm not sure what is going on and why the pay was so different. 
and then um, then to come to find out that you know the online registration or the registration is from November 9th to December 14th and they're telling us all well you're not gonna have to work Christmas Christmas Day day after Christmas or any of that because the 14th after that when it's closed it's closed and I'm not taking any more calls they're not gonna need anybody so actually you're going to be working this week the end of October November and until December 14th so you're only going to be working there maybe six weeks eight weeks tops so it was a two-month gig they don't and the way that everything didn't work if I was them I sure as hell wouldn't hire them to work for me to be my answer and people because nothing worked it was all broken everything was broken it was horrible so oh well it's like it's just another kick in the teeth you know I'm not a stupid person if everything worked I would have found every single answer I needed I could work my way around all those computers I'm faster than everybody so you know I just don't understand why it wasn't working so you know what I mean I, I could only do what I could do and I could only argue my point so much and she said to me when I left she goes well we really want you to stay we're really we're having another we're gonna have another uh, campaign going on soon and we want you to come we want we want you to be here with us She goes, we really understand well if you understood and you knew my computer wasn't working then why didn't you just let me stay and retake the test with a computer that worked I don't get that you know whatever so that was my day everybody I'm really disappointed sorry if I sound like crabby and like a crappy pants but I really feel that way my husband had a really bad day at work he left work early too today because he was just really upset because I was upset and it just was a bad day oh well you win some you lose some I'll just be back to the grindstone and I'll find another job it'll probably be a crappy job but I guess I'll do that one too until then I guess I'll just be making my dolls and selling them on eBay like I always do. Make a couple bucks here and there to help out. Oh well. Makes you want to cry. <laughs> I'm not going to. I already did that. So thank you everybody that wished me luck and prayed for me and everything. I'm just sorry it didn't work. Obviously I wasn't meant to have that job for some reason. So another job will come. I should have known when I locked myself out this morning and then I didn't even get to tell you guys as soon as I pulled into the driveway at work I went to grab my cup of tea hit my cup of tea on my steering wheel and it covered my whole entire self I had to go run to Walmart real quick and I had a, I bought this new sweater for myself um, because my whole entire sweater was completely wet so I just feel terrible I feel makes you feel stupid you know and I know I'm not a dumb person by any means you know don't ask my sisters that they thought they all had to talk down to me because I was stupid but whatever you know but I don't know I just get so tired of it tired of trying and trying and trying and not getting anywhere just I'm tired of it so today's a downer for me my husband's in bed sleeping I saw on Netflix has the uh, Hemlock Grove season three. I might just chill, watch it on the TV, finish decorating. I know I'm late in decorating, but you know I was working those two jobs for a little bit. So, and now I have no jobs because I quit the one job to take this job. <laughs> Tis my life. So my husband bought me a new. Um, I got a new. Uh, a new cart for my doll making stuff so like all my stuff is organized because I used over there that's see that where all the lights are that's where all my doll stuff went like my paints this is all my painting stuff my sponges and stuff is down here all my painting stuff is here my bowls my brushes some of my brushes are down there um, so yeah I have a new kit to work on this is the Kyle kit. I'll be working on him shortly. I know if it freaks out people, I'm sorry, but this is what I do. I make babies. Um, and I still have this beautiful little guy here. I don't think you could see him here. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I just got him new socks. He's a little preemie. He's a little preemie. He 
He's just got new little socks. So he'll be up on eBay tomorrow. Um, so, yep. And he's sitting in a little swing. He's so cute. Oh, I'm sorry to get so close to you. And then this is for my personal collection. She's going to be nine months size. She's going to be a big baby. So she's got really big legs. See how big her legs are? Her feet are so big. So, and Emily is sitting in her new high chair. This high chair uh, we got for free. I found it. And I got it for free because there was a nursery school that was closing. So, um, so yeah. So we got it for free. So my husband does that for me. He's like crazy. I see stuff. He'll go get it for me. I just washed it really good. I'm actually thinking about getting some material for, for cloth material for around here. Making it really like um, not just for girls but for boys as well. Um, general neutral. Gender neutral. So yes. So I'm quite upset. Oh, and then I forgot that I had this witchy gnome. See this witchy gnome? I'm going to make her. I'm going to make her um, this weekend. I'm going to put her outside. Here's my little project. I never got to show everybody. It's just my little, you know. So my house is still a mess because I was really upset. My husband took me out for dinner. I had pizza. Yes, I did the 21-day fix. I still had pizza. I lost four pounds this week. Like four pounds, um... Uh, Wednesday I lost a total of four four pounds like for the whole week and I stayed that I stayed that way so when I came back I weighed myself and I gained six ounces from eating pizza so you know I didn't go overboard I just ate some pizza well this is turning into a pretty long video um thank you everybody I think we're going to do the uh board at the laundromat but we're going to do that on Sunday because that's when I'm going to go to the laundromat and yes my town my spirit Spooky town. I don't know if you guys can see it. Spooky town. I'll show you better when the light is up. So when the light is is better, I'll show you tomorrow. But yep, yeah, that's my spooky town. So thank you everybody for watching. Thank you for wishing me luck again. Yeah, doesn't mean that everybody's prayers didn't get answered. Maybe I just wasn't supposed to have that job. So one can guess. All right, thank you again, everybody, and I appreciate everything that everybody says to me and all the kind words that you give me and the support that you've been giving me it really means a lot to me oh tomorrow i did get my um dessert bullet my magic dessert bullet so i will show you we went out shopping and we got some fruit i'm so excited so i'll make ice cream tomorrow healthy ice cream all right i'm gonna end on a good note with a smile on my face because i know it just wasn't meant to be so thank you for watching again thumbs up for me please if you're new to my channel please uh subscribe please like my channel thumbs it up please leave me a comment any kind of comment you want but negativity i won't tolerate it <laughs> i just don't want to deal with that i have enough in, in my life right now but thank you everybody for all your support your kind words as always and you guys are always appreciated you make me smile with everything that you have to say good night everybody I will talk to you probably Sunday. Bye.